What's going on? Gavin Wong here, and today I have a really cool uh, unboxing and review for you guys. So this is something that just launched on Kickstarter, or at least this specific campaign. This is the Year of the Ram Zodiac Lunar Playing Cards by No Bad Playing Cards. Uh, here on the left, this gold tuck case. This is the standard edition, the Year of the Ram Playing Cards standard edition. And this is the one that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing today. And then in the black tuck case, very nice black tuck case, this is the luxury edition. So I have received both full sets of the standard and luxury editions. I backed that in the last Kickstarter campaign by Nomad Playing Cards. I received those recently. And uh, deck number nine out of the 12th set is Year of the Ram. And that just launched on Kickstarter. And so I thought I'd you know, do an unboxing review of the Year of the Ram. For you guys that are interested in backing the Kickstarter, I looked at both and I thought uh, I liked the standard edition a little bit more because the colors really pop when you have the full set as opposed to the all black version, which is still very, very cool. But I decided I didn't need both, I only need one. So I'm keeping the standard edition, and the idea is I'm going to open and review all these. And in the luxury edition, I'm going to sell and try to get some of my money back because it was a fairly expensive Kickstarter. And honestly, I bought both sets kind of as an impulse buy. Uh, and I don't need both sets. But since we are here, uh, you know, I thought I could just show you guys both editions, both the standard and luxury edition uh, tuck cases, just so you guys can take a look at that at least. Uh, very cool looking tuck case. The black is nice, it's just, you know, when you have the full set together, it's it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot of black, and I just, I liked the colorways on the, the standard edition a lot more. Um, but yeah, that is a quick look at the luxury edition year of the ram for you guys all right so here is the year of the ram playing cards the standard edition you guys can see that it's done is really nice uh, gold metallic color background and then we have you know year of the ram here in silver and gold foil on top of that and it's embossed we have like, down here the ram um, in embossed foil so you can actually touch that you can just see the texture on that Looks very, very nice. And if I remember correctly from reading the Kickstarter, they actually used three different uh, colors of foil just to make this box. So it's, you know, very, very elegant. It looks very, very nice. You can see there's a really nice shine on it. I'm trying to just show that off so you guys can see how that looks in the light. Very elegant back design as well. All nice and textured and embossed. And then here you can see it says Year of the Ram. And then on the inside, Buy Nomads, Playing Cards. And then here we have the full, you know, Chinese Zodiac. We have all 12 uh, Zodiacs, all 12 animals. Very cool that back design. Um, here on the side says Lunar and Zodiac. And again, we have a very nice, elegant design. On the other side as well, we have, you know, the Lunar and Zodiac symbol. We have the Ram. Um, all this is embossed, very elegant and nicely done. And then here on the top, we have more of that design embossed. Uh, I think that's going to be the RAM as well. A little hard to see because the seal's on top of it, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Here in the bottom, again, we have more of this embossed uh, foil. So it's printed by the NPCC, which I'm not really sure who that is. I don't know if I've had any decks by the NPCC. Could be wrong, but I think this is going to be the first time I'm going to be opening these. So we'll see how they feel. And then here you can say, from series, a lunar and zodiac, the year of the RAM playing cards, created by Nomad's playing card. Uh, produced in Ukraine by NPCC. Love the tuck case. Gold all the way around. Very nice. Embossed foiling. Uh, not a whole lot to complain about. Looks really nice. And then we have here a non-numbered seal. Um, if you guys remember from the, from the luxury edition, there was a numbered seal. So all those are numbered. And then these uh, standard editions are non-numbered. So let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, by the way, the seal is a ram, so matches matches the theme of the deck. I'll get this open here and get a nice clean cut. Ooh, that was not super clean, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, got that open. So let's take a look inside, and then on the inside again we have nice little embossed foiling, and then the lunar and zodiac symbol there. And then again on the inside, uh, I got the same foiling all the way around. So I love that. 
love the consistency. Uh, I would hate to open this up and just have it be a plain white tuck on the inside. So love the fact that they have it uh, foiled on the inside as well, all the way around, inside and out. All right, so starting with the back design, one thing you'll notice is that the box itself is gold, but then the deck back is done in blue. And then I saw on the Kickstarter, the limited edition, the one that's in black, the card backs are gonna be in gold to match the other card box. So it's a little bit of, a, of an interesting choice. All the other decks are like this as well. So just something to point out. So going back to the standard edition back design, here we can see nice blue color. Here we have the RAM uh, up top and bottom. It is a two-way back design and a lot of intricate details here. So you can see like we got the dragons in the corners, um, lots of very little small details all the way throughout. Like I don't even know what a lot of this stuff is. Um, very Asian themed, I mean, going to be very generic here with that, but it's actually a really cool looking back design. Um, you can see it's a thin white border, which I like. I don't really like the thick, thick white border. So thin white border, you can see the dragon heads actually kind of come off of that border just a little bit, which is a nice little touch. But yeah, overall pretty nice back design, like the border, like the color, um, I like, like two-way back design. So a lot, of, a lot of intricate, small little details. Not a whole lot that you could not like about this, other than the fact that it doesn't match the tuck box, which I don't know. I, I like a card back to match the same color of, of the tuck box, but that's just me. Uh, so that is the back design. Moving on to the card fronts. Uh, first, we have the Joker, which is a nice little ram here, gold background. Again, very intricate details. I like the costume, very cool looking. It's the first Joker. We have a second Joker. Ooh, again, just a different variation of the Ram. A third Joker and a fourth Joker. So we have four Jokers here. Yeah, all different uh, variations of the Ram. I like it. Very cool. Ooh, look at that one. That's cool. Okay, got four Jokers here. All right, and now we have the Ace of Hearts, uh, similar to that Joker back design has a nice backdrop done in that gold um, and then we have a nice big heart in the middle the uh, the index is here is a small little heart and we got a big giant a so pretty pretty cool all right and then it goes king okay interesting uh, order um, here we have the king of hearts and then again we see a ram kind of all dressed up in a costume um, I don't know what's really happening here are they dancing or are they I don't really know what's happening um, but one thing you'll notice is that they have unlucky numbers, four and nine. So I'll tell you what the unlucky numbers are uh, for the year of the Ram. Okay, that's cool. Little, little tidbits here. Queen of Hearts, uh, again, another design of the Ram. Uh, back design, is the back design the same? So it's different from the Ace, but I think these other back designs for the court cards are the same in the background. And then we see here in the corner that the uh, Queen of Hearts, this lucky flower of the Primrose is. And then I believe that's that's a Primrose right there. I believe that's what that is. I could be wrong, could be wrong, but I think that's Primrose. But pretty cool. Next up we have the Jack of Hearts. And they tell you in the corner that Rams are the good friends with tigers. And so you see the Ram holding up a little tiger here in the corner. Very cool, I like that. And I really like the fact that these are like two-way designs, right? So you can hold it either way, and there's no like right or wrong way of holding them. Sometimes with cards like this, that have little facts on them, they're just like one way. So I like the fact that they made it a two-way design. I like that. Ten of hearts. All right, so now for the background, we go back to the similar back design that the ace had. So it looks like the uh, the court cards have one similar back design, and then the everything else has another. So. The 9, the 8, the 7, the 6, 5, 4. I like these back designs. There's the Ace of Clubs. Club in the middle. The King of Clubs. The worst compatibility is Ox, Dragon, and Snake. It looks like those three things, Ox, Dragon, and Snake, and they're all kind of fighting, they're all entangled with the Ram, causing some trouble here, so. I really like the way that they've incorporated not only these little tidbits uh, according to the Zodiac, but they've also incorporated them here in the picture to represent those. That's pretty cool. 
Queen of Clubs, the Lucky Flower, or the Carnations. And then we have Carnations. Look at that, that's a really cool looking picture, that's cool. Jack of Clubs, Unlucky Direction is Southwest. I do like that background. Very consistent with the theme of the deck and colorway. Just, just the back design's a little weird. It doesn't match. The King of Diamonds, best compatibility, Rabbit and the Horse. And then again, of course, we have uh, the Rabbit there and the Horse shown. I like these portrayals of the, uh, the Ram, by the way, all these different ways. The Ram. Unlucky colors, blue and black. I know all this about the ramp. Lucky direction is north. Lucky direction is north. What is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is in the corner. But somebody tell me down below what do you think that is? I'm sure somebody will know what that is. The Ace of Spades is what you guys have been waiting for. Here we have it says a lunar zodiac, a giant spade in the middle with the ram head. It says year of the ram at the bottom. King of Spades, average with the rooster. So average compatibility with the rooster. And with the rooster there. It's kind of funny that he's like holding like a dead rooster head on his pole. It's like average compatibility, but I'm gonna hold a dead rooster head here. <laughs> All right. Queen of Spades, lucky numbers two and seven. Nice. Jack of Spades, lucky colors brown, red, and purple. Not a lot of use of brown, red, or purple. I mean, there's some brown here, but I would have liked to have seen some brown, red, or purple to match the, the fun fact or the little tip there. Um, okay, so interesting order of cards. It kind of goes ace down through two. Hearts, clubs, spade, uh, hearts, clubs, diamond, spades. Interesting order, and you get four jokers. So, okay, all right, interesting. Uh, let's see how the stock feels. Um, going through the deck, it feels okay. It's not super slippery like USPCC Cardamundi right out of the box. So it's not super slick and slippery. Um, the cut and stuff feels fine. It's a little, I think it's like a, let's see. Yeah, it feels like a crushed stock. It's not very stiff. Just doing this. Springing and dribbling it. I can feel, it feels... The stock itself feels nice and soft. Like it definitely feels like a crushed stock. That's the best way I would compare it. it definitely feels like a crushed stock, but it feels pretty good. Um, let's see if I can ferro these and figure out which direction they are cut. So that feels gritty. So face down, that feels gritty. So I'm gonna guess it's a modern cut. Uh, ooh, that doesn't feel great. I mean, it's not gritty, but it just doesn't. It's not super clean. Yeah, it's kind of going in. It's not. It's not super clean. Why is that so difficult? It's not gritty like it was the other way, though. It's not gritty. No, I don't like that. Like I can kind of get it to go. Kind of ish. Okay, so we kind of got it. Yeah, let's try this again, just to be sure. But this felt... That feels gritty. Yeah, no, it does not like that. And I feel like... I feel like I'm doing some damage here, trying to do it like that, so... Uh, I'm gonna say it's a modern cut, because it wants the pharaoh face up. But even then, it's not great of a pharaoh like this way, so... I think it's better... Oof. the corner there. Um, okay, so not great for Pharaoh. Not great. Like I have no issues faring Cardamundi or USPCC at all. But this is it's, it's a different feel. I don't want to keep doing that. That I'm gonna keep messing up the corners here. Um, so the stock is cut kind of I don't know. It's not great for farrowing, uh, but it's definitely like a modern cut deck of cards because it wants to go face up, not face down. Um, 
so that's kind of what I have to say about the stock. But it does feel kind of nice and soft though, I will give you that. Um, in terms of fanning, it doesn't have, I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have that like super slick finish and feel to it like it does right out of the box with USPCC or Cardamundi. So you're not going to get like a super clean fan. I mean this, is, this actually isn't bad. It just doesn't have that super slick new deck feel that you get with USPC or Cardamundi finishes. So fanny wise, not bad, not terrible. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. It just, it doesn't have that super slick finish um, that I'm kind of used to, but fanny wise, not bad at all. Like if I do a pressure fan, like it looks pretty even, you know, if I do pressure fan feels good, thumb fan could use a little bit of work. Um, it's not terrible. It's, yeah, pressure fan, that's, that's where it's at with this. Uh, it, and I bet for like packet cuts and stuff, this feels good. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, so I mean, for packet cuts and stuff, not bad. If I had tried to do that right out of the box with a USB-C or Cardamundi deck, my cards would have been flying and slipping everywhere. Uh, but you can see here, during packet cuts, it, they stay together pretty well. Like, there's not a whole lot of slip to them, so... Uh, not bad handling, just not the greatest. And then for some reason I can't ferro these very well without damaging the, the corners, it seems like. Yeah, you can see that we already chipped some air, yeah, which is... Point. Uh, but again, that's kind of my fault for trying to ferro those, so I would say maybe avoid trying to ferro these. Um, that's my advice. <laughs> maybe avoid ferroing them, but other than that, the car design, fronts and backs look pretty nice. Um, the pips are, you know, easily recognizable. No issues there recognizing the pips and the colors, so pretty cool design overall. But yeah, I think that'll do it for my card review for the year of the Ram playing cards. Uh, again, this is a standard edition by Nomad playing cards. Let me know down below what you guys think of the deck and uh, let me know what other deck I should review next out of the set. I know that there's three more decks that are going to go live on Kickstarter that haven't been released yet, but let me know what other deck out of the set you guys want to see next. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, that way you guys don't miss out on my future videos and I hope to see you guys on the next video. I also hope you guys are staying safe and I hope you guys have a magical day. Thank you for watching.